What is up you guys, Matt here, Mr. Matt Darnell, and here in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can install Dash Launch on your Reset Glitch Hack Xbox 360 or your JTAG Xbox 360. Now please note, in order to install Dash Launch on your Xbox 360, it needs to be a Reset Glitch Hack Xbox 360 or a JTAG Xbox 360. This will not work on a retail console, period, dot the end. Second of all, you will need to have XEX Menu installed. If you not, do not have XEX Menu installed, I will have a link in the description below on how you can get XEX Menu on your Reset Glitch Hack or JTAGged Xbox 360. So let's go ahead and let's get started with the tutorial. Alrighty guys, so this is going to be one of the easiest things that you will probably ever do with your JTAG or Reset Glitch Hack is install Dash Launch. So the first thing you want to do is plug up a flash drive uh, into your computer. Make sure it's formatted to FAT32. If it's not FAT32, then your Reset Glitch Hack or JTAGged Xbox 360 will not be able to read it. Go ahead and open up that flash drive there. And you want to download this file. Uh, there will be a link in the description. You'll get a folder or a zip file named Dash Launch. Go ahead and extract it and put it in a folder named Dash Launch. You'll get these files like so. Anyways, go ahead and drag and drop it into the root of your USB drive, like so. Once we have it in here, we can close it out. And we can go ahead and unplug our USB flash drive and plug it into our Reset Glitch Hack or JTAG to Xbox 360. I will see you guys on the Xbox. Alrighty guys, now that we are on the Xbox 360 here, uh, on your Reset Glitch Hack or JTAG to Xbox 360, you want to make sure you're on your home uh, page here, the dashboard. Go ahead and go over to Games here, go to My Games, and you want to open up XEX Menu. Once we are in XEX Menu here, go ahead and press RB, and you can use the D-pad to select which uh, device you're using, or you can use X and you want to select your USB in this case mine is USB 1 and you'll see that we have a dash launch folder here once we go to our flash drive just go ahead and press Y go ahead and copy that and press X and you want to go to hard drive 1 or HDD 1 go ahead and go here press Y and go ahead and paste it in the root of the drive as you can see here, I already have Dash Launch 3.14 installed, but that's how you install it. It's the easiest thing you will ever install on your Reset Glitch Hack or JTAG Xbox 360 is Dash Launch. Once you have it copied over here, go ahead and go to your Dash, Dash Launch folder, go to Installer, and press on default.xex. You will see right here that we have Dash Launch opened up here. And we have under paths, just go ahead and leave this as it is. You do not want to mess with that as of now. Go to behavior. And down here under behavior, uh, you'll notice that you just get all this normal stuff. Uh, don't mess with it unless you know what you're doing. Go ahead and close that out. Now here's the important part. Go to network and ping patch. You want to have that disabled unless you are on Xbox Stealth service, or not Stealth, uh, Link, <laughs> my bad. Uh, you want to have that disabled unless you're using Link. If you're using a Stealth service to get on Xbox Live, then this needs to be disabled. Alrighty, now you need to make sure Live Block is enabled, and you need to make sure Live Strong is enabled. Make sure or those two are enabled, and go ahead and save it. The rest of this stuff, as you can see, just don't worry about it. Uh, plugins will automatically do this for you and you can do your plugins right here you'll need your XEX files for the plugins and we have our configurator here as well under configurator you may want to do FTP go ahead and enable that if you want to do FTP I'm not doing FTP right now so I have it disabled but that is essentially dash launch you won't be using dash launch as much as you will be using XEX menu or freestyle dash or Aurora but it is a very nice tool to have and it does all your automations 
all your configurations for you and it even gives you information on your glitch type, your board, your flash, your kernel, and your temperatures as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe guys. Hope to see you guys back in my next video. I'll be showing you how you can install Freestyle-3 and configure that to boot as default. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe guys. Till next time guys, I will see you later.